the Space Shuttle was the first partly reusable spaceship in the world. It was launched like a rocket, but landed like a plane. But in July of 2011, the Space Shuttle was brought out of service. Why was it brought out of service? Was it because of the two shuttle accidents? Or was it because of the high price to maintain the Space Shuttle? In today's video we will find out why. The Space Shuttle is a retired spacecraft. It has served from 1981 all the way to 2011. The spacecraft consisted of an orange external tank which holds the fuel for the three main engines. It also has the solid rocket boosters which are the two rockets on the side of the external tank. Then there's the orbiter vehicle which is the only reusable part of the spacecraft. If you would like to learn more about how the space shuttle launches, you can watch the top link in the description to a video that I made dedicated to it. Normally, crews on the space shuttle may range in size from 5 to 7 people. The shuttle is designed to reach orbits ranging from about 185 km to 643 km high. Since 1981, it has boosted more than 1.36 million kilograms of cargo into orbit. Now let's learn of the two shuttle disasters. On January 28, 1986, Space Shuttle Challenger disintegrated 73 seconds after launch, due to the failure of the Wright SRB, killing all seven astronauts on board. The disaster was caused by the low temperature impairment of an O-ring, a mission-critical seal used between segments of the SRB casing, leading to a sequence of catastrophic events which caused the orbiter to disintegrate. Repeated warnings from design engineers voicing concerns about the lack of evidence of the O-ring's safety when the temperature was below 53 degrees Fahrenheit had been ignored by NASA managers. There was another shuttle disaster. On February 1, 2003, Columbia disintegrated during re-entry, killing all seven of the crew, because of damage to the carbon-carbon leading edge of the wing caused during launch. So, now let's find out why the space shuttle was put on retirement. 1. High Costs The partial reusability of the Space Shuttle was one of the primary design requirements during its initial development. The original intention was to compensate for this lower payload by lowering the per-launch costs and a high launch frequency. However, the actual costs of a Space Shuttle launch were higher than initially predicted, and the Space Shuttle did not fly the intended 24 missions per year as initially predicted by NASA. The Space Shuttle was really used to launch satellites to space. The intention here was that the high volume of Space Shuttle missions would compensate for early financial losses. Also, the Space Shuttle was really expensive to refurbish for the next mission. These high costs greatly contributed to the retirement of the Space Shuttle. 2. The two shuttle disasters. The two disasters also raised questions of the overall safety of the spacecraft. This criticism also contributed greatly to the retirement of the Space Shuttle. As you can see, because of safety concerns the shuttle had to be retired. Do you think the space shuttle should be kept into service? Also if you would like to know why you would never see sharks in any aquarium in the world you can click on the second link in the description. Thank you for watching.